Hello my viewers, welcome to my channel once again. Today I shall be talking about the post experiment data analysis which is really very much crucial and today I shall be showing you how to obtain the desired Nyquist plot from the raw EIS data file obtained from the CH instruments as requested by one of my subscribers. So let's start and see how to do that. For my convenience, I already have kept the raw data file of EIS uh, measurement on my desktop. You can see it. This is the ASCII file and this is the bin file. So let's open the bin file first and you can see this is the Nyquist plot. This is um, minus Z double prime representing the imaginary part of the impedance in negative and Z prime represents the real part of the impedance. So I wish to have this plot using origin and excel. So let's see the excel file. I shall open a blank workbook here and then go to computer. You can see IS0 is already here. However, if you haven't opened it recently, then you should go to computer, browse and desktop, all files, EIS0, this is the data file and check in delimited and you can see the data actually starts from 19 however the column name starts from 17 so i should choose 17 and the data is separated from each other by comma so i should select comma there next and finish yeah everything is fine i have got everything here and i shall be requiring column b and column c as column b is representing the real part of the impedance and column C is representing the imaginary part of the impedance. So let me copy column B first. You can copy column C as well. However, let's do it step by step. Now let me paste it here. This is column B, the real part of the impedance and let me go back to Excel and copy column C which is the imaginary part of the impedance copy now paste it so let's put the name this is the real part of the impedance so real z and the unit is ohm and this is the imaginary part i am writing it minus imaginary part of the impedance and ohm is the unit obviously now i require to multiply column b with a minus one so that i get the imaginary part of the impedance so it's very easy and just column b is fine yeah now let's me let me plot it and let's change the value from zero yeah this is the desired nyquist plot obtained from the raw eis data which i have kept on my desktop and you can see this is the nyquist plot however one thing i haven't done here what you should do obviously i should multiply column b and a both of columns with the area so suppose you have the electrode area geometrical area around 0.7 centimeter squared so I should multiply column A with that say 0 0.07 uh, sorry 0.7 let me uh, assume that 0.7 centimeter square be the area of my electrode so it's 
units should be point uh, centimeter sorry centimeter square and this column b also should be multiplied with point 7 it's fine and this is times centimeter square now you can see that the values the plot has already changed automatically however if you want to replot you can do it and choose it from zero and this is your Nyquist plot and you can change the things here also this is imaginary part of the impedance unit will be ohm times centimeter square so centimeter square is there and you also can choose things you can change it as well real part of the impedance unit will be obviously ohm times centimeter square okay everything is fine and i hope you have understood how to get the nyquist plot desired nyquist, nyquist plot from the raw eis data obtained from the ch instruments and following the exact procedure i think you can do it yourself also thank you for watching my video and if you like my video please like and do subscribe my channel hope we will meet you soon in near future thanks for watching